and today we'll be making William Morris inspired art. You will need either poster or acrylic paint, coloured A3 or A4 paper, a pencil, a paintbrush, some scissors, a print stick, some foam, some scrap cardboard, some templates of flowers and leaves, and a frame. So firstly, here's a job for teachers to do at home before this art lesson. You'll need to cut out some templates of different flowers and leaf shapes. Um, I found some different templates and just cut around them on cereal boxes. I cut several templates of each shape so that there's plenty to go around the classroom. Give each child a sheet of A4 or A3 coloured paper of their choice and a scrap piece of cardboard. The cardboard needs to be approximately a quarter of an A4 sheet size. This way it's big enough to be a stamp, but also small enough to fit into the child's hand. Next, lay out the templates onto the cardboard to see what layouts you like and how you want your stamp to look. Just play around with different layouts until you find something that you really love. When you've found a layout that you're happy with, you can go ahead and get your foam. Place your templates onto the foam and draw around them with a pencil. Try to do it in a corner if you can, just so that you don't waste the foam. I know that you're going to have children say, I want the pink foam, I want the green foam. But honestly, it doesn't matter what colour foam they have because they're not going to see it. It's just to cut out some shapes to stick on the stamp. Then you can go ahead and cut out your shapes. Try and cut them as neatly as you can. Here are my three foam shapes that are now ready to be stuck onto the cardboard. Try and lay them out the same way as you did before as best as you can. And you're going to need plenty of glue on these otherwise they'll come off during your stamping process. So make sure you get lots of glue on now so you don't have that problem later on. At this point, I cut out a stem shape out of the foam so that it can go up the middle of my stamp and make it look more cohesive. Obviously you can get the children to cut out their own templates. I just find that this makes the lesson longer than an hour, so I stick to using templates that I have already cut. We're ready to go ahead and paint now. So you want to paint each foam piece, not the background of the cardboard, because you won't see that. You'll only see the prominent pieces, so the foam pieces. I recommend sticking to one colour per foam piece, or do what I do on the one leaf, which is do a line down the middle and do half and half. If you start doing like dots all over it, or some weird pattern on each one you won't be able to replicate this each time you do the stamping when you have to repaint it again
as this is a William Morris inspired piece of art, it's going to be like his wallpaper. So we're going to keep repeating our stamp as many times as we can onto this piece of paper. So on an A4 sheet, you should be able to get it on there at least four times. On an A3 sheet, you should be able to get it on there way more. And if you have chosen to go even bigger, then obviously you should be able to get even more stamps. Just a tip though, repaint your stamp in between each print um, as the colours do fade. And I do find that straight away after the first print, the stamp is not bold enough ready for a second print. <laughs> When you've filled up your whole piece of paper, leave it to dry. You can either stick it in your sketchbook like that to show that you've done some William Morris inspired wallpaper or you can use it as wrapping paper like I do. If you have time at the end, you can get another piece of coloured paper and just do a single stamp in the middle and simply add a frame. It makes a brilliant piece of artwork. And as I always say to the children, it's not finished until you sign it, so make sure you add your signature on your frame print. If you wanted to, you could do some Christmas inspired templates and do it as Christmas wrapping paper, but as this is William Morris inspired art, I stuck to the flowers. Thank you all for watching, if you enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button and share with other people that will enjoy it too. See you next week for more Art with Miss Burford!